Hello everyone, Luis here from Missive. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can configure a Google Group address in Missive. Missive is built from the ground up to support not only shared inboxes, but also existing Google Group configurations. Here are the steps needed to properly set up Google Groups on Missive. Step number one, everyone in your team must import their personal Google account, the account at which they receive emails from the group address. To do so, click on your name, then accounts, then add account, then select the provider, Gmail, then select the second option, no, this is a personal account. After you click on next, you will need to enter your personal email and password. Step number two, add the Google group email as a shared address in Missive. For practical purposes, let's say the Google address is group at company.com. What you need to do is click on your name, then organizations, then message sharing, then add a shared address. Here we're gonna enter the email group at company.com. And I want the messages to arrive uh, at my inbox. So I'm gonna click on inbox and I'm gonna select myself. A validation email will be sent to ensure you receive emails sent to this address. This step is needed because without a shared address defined, your team members will receive emails sent to group at company.com normally, but in separate conversations, requiring ad mentions to bring people together and collaborate. Adding group at company.com as a shared address will make sure common emails are shared as soon as they are received. Note that nobody will see duplicated emails. Also, everyone will have their own unread and archived state, just like you were used to when using Gmail or other email apps. Step number three, add an alias. In order to be able to reply from group at company.com, each team member must add an alias in their account settings. If needed, they can set a different signature than the one used in their personal address. So how you can set that up? First, click on your name, then accounts, and then here, aliases, you can click on the plus sign, enter the group address, so group at company.com. Let's name it um, group email. And uh, that's it, we create it. It's important to note that everyone must ensure this alias is configured on Gmail as well. Otherwise, Gmail will revert the from address to the personal address upon sending. To know more about this, you can consult the links that we're going to be leaving on the uh, comment box below. And that's it, you're ready to start using Google Groups with Missive. Bye.